everybody, this is Pastor Bonnie, and we are going to do another palette knife painting. And this one's going to just be super easy and fun, and I'm looking so forward to having this time with you guys. So we're going to start out with um, Cool Blue. This is, a, this is some paint that I picked up at Walmart. It's a dollar. And then we're going to do Cerulean Blue, and then we're going to do White titanium white and then emerald green and chrome oxide and light blue and yellow so these big ones I got at Hobby Lobby these are quite a bit more expensive they're like seven or eight dollars for those maybe a little more since I bought them and then these are the tools we're going to use um, just it's gonna be really easy and really fun and I can't wait to spend the time with you and then I also forgot I have modeling paste that we're gonna use so the fun part about um, using a palette knife is it just gives you lots of texture and lots of I just really love it and to be honest I set when I do these I sell them on my website and they sell about as quick as I make them so people must really love them as much as I do so we're going to start with the uh, light blue and we're just going to put little daubs and we're going to put like the sky up here and the grass down here and we're going to put a little tiny bit of a darker blue i'm hoping you guys can see because i'm lefty i guess i can use my right hand that's better I use my phone my iPhone to um, make these and it, it's just fun and easy and then I'm gonna take a little daub this is a medium that is really thick it's like frosting it makes the paint really thick and helps with the texture so I just really love working with it so then I'm just gonna take my knife and just spread it around. This one's the one with the flat side. And I'm just, I just want to get it on the canvas. And then I think I'll use my brush just to kind of blend it in a little bit. Because we're going to overlap it. I hope you guys are having a good day. We're getting ready to have a big snowstorm here. It's a northeaster. I'm in New Hampshire. And um, there's supposed to be one that's going to dump maybe at least a foot of snow. So it's a perfect day to do this. And there we go. So we got that part done. That's how quick it is. And then I like to keep a wet rag. And I, I just keep it like that. The paint with acrylic you do want to rinse off your brush just about as quick as you use them because they will dry on the brush acrylics are really fast drying paint which is why i like it because you get instant gratification but i do have to keep up on my brushes or they get really stiff so we got that part done and then we're going to do the same thing with the bottom part so we're going to do and you know you guys i always say this i don't even know myself what these are going to look like. I honestly are cl am clueless. I just have fun as we go. And it is so much fun taking you on the journey with me. And I love to share stories. And my sister was over this morning. I have a Etsy shop called Dragonfly Corners. And she comes in twice a week and helps me glaze. And I have about a hundred pieces that have to be, that are all in various stages of production that need to be boxed up and glazed and fired and I decided I'm taking a break today just doing something joyful but she and I were talking and I was telling her how as a little girl I we were laughing because I used to make mud pies and I used to make her taste them <laughs> so she was she's a year and a half younger than me 
And um, oh, we were just laughing, having so much fun. But I was thinking about it. I want to share that with you guys because even as children, we all, it's like we're born with what we're supposed to do in our life. And so even as a child, I used to love to make mud pies. I would go get mud out of my grandfather's garden because he always had nice, moist, rich dirt in there. And um, he just always had the prettiest garden. Always, his vegetables were always healthy and his rows were neat and tidy. And I used to go get his clay pots and fill them up with mud. And then when they got nice and dry, I would put them on the on the stone wall, line them all up and let them dry. And it's so interesting because even as a child, I used to love doing that, not knowing that as an adult, God was gonna bless me with a business doing pottery. And it's so joyful. So I just wanna encourage you guys, if you think back on what you did as a child, that's more than likely the very thing that brings you joy that God has for you as an adult because that's how he does things okay so now I'm gonna take this doesn't have any paint on it I just want to make some leaves and I'm gonna do you know sometimes leaves are bent just bring them up and all I'm doing is just scratching the um, paint with it with the plain one and then I'll go back and I'll put some dark on here. And then I'm gonna put some of this. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry, the postman just got here. Actually, UPS, so pardon my dogs. They're gonna bark. We have two little uh, miniature dachshunds and they think it's great. You put it on the back of the palette knife and then can just start picking it up, see? Actually, I have a different stuff. I'm gonna try. I'm get the paint off my hands. I get paint all over me. So anyway, back to my story, guys. I just, you know, I, I always tell people, go back and make a list of what did you like to do as a child. So for me, I used to do, um, I used to line my siblings up and play store, and I would. Oops, you know what? That's not gonna work. I would do store and we would play school and I would make them, like my poor sister was always my taste tester. I made cookies one time and neglected to put anything in them except for the flour and the water. So you can imagine what those tasted like. And she always tasted them. And then I used to make the mud pies and I, used to like to pretend to teach them. I would line my siblings up and put them in cardboard boxes and pretend to teach them. And you know, it's so funny because that's the very things that brings me so much joy now. That's the stuff I love to do. And it's the stuff that, that touches the most lives. So now I'm gonna put, um, we're gonna put some paint on a paper plate because I wanna get some stems in here that we're gonna put the flowers on. And get some actually. I'm gonna make sure I put the lids on them because I don't want them to dry out. So it's a perfect day to paint. It's getting ready, like I said, to snow. Right now it hasn't hit yet, but it's going to. And it's just so pretty. And even though it's the end of March and we're all sick of winter, I still love to watch it snow. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, put some on the this like this. And that's just what I wanted. So I've got to make some long stems. My Maine Coon Kitty, I think he just got up. You see his paws in the left hand corner. Get off, you're gonna get paint on you. He likes to see what I'm doing. He cracks us up so much. He just wants to be right in the middle of everything. So these are gonna be our stems for our flowers. And then we're gonna put some more leaves. So let's try this. There we go. But I love the textures. I love just moving the paint around. I'm gonna put just a titch of yellow. 
just to kind of bring a little different color, just a little bit. And I want some more of that green. And you just, the fun part about acrylics is you just keep adding on top of it, on top of it. And it just, like I said, and when it dries, it'll have all this really rich texture in it. So well, now I'm just randomly adding leaves in the grass. When I was a little girl, the other thing I used to love to do was I would love to go catch um, fireflies. We used to get mason jars and when I was little, there seemed to be a whole lot more of them than there is nowadays. And I would just be out going barefooted in the field and I would have all my little fireflies. Get down, Aslan, get down, get down. I told you, he wants to see what am I doing and what can he get into. So I'm just pulling down the colors. See how it makes really pretty leaves? And literally this painting's taking me just a few minutes and look already how it's coming. I love it. It's my favorite technique. And I always tell people I'm an ordained minister, so if you have any prayer requests, please feel free to let me to leave them in the description box and I'll be glad to pray for you. And I have had people reach out and ask for prayer and I'm always glad to do that. Cuz you know, God is real and he loves you and he cares about what you're going through in your life. Sometimes it's not always easy, things that we go through. People, I think, are a little nervous because one of the banks failed this week and, you know, you kind of wonder, is the economy getting ready to do some not so very nice things? So, you know, we all have, we all need to draw close to Jesus during times like this and he'll guide and protect and lead you and guide you and for myself I met him when I was 16 years old I found out that he was real and just asked him into my heart and I've never been the same it's been the best decision I ever made and it's really easy you just say dear Jesus I ask you to forgive me and make yourself real to me and say it in your own words okay now I want to try put some little flowers in there so we're going to go with, and I'm going to use this little spatula, which I really like. And we're going to put, I'll show you the colors. We're using um, cerulean blue. And I'm going to use all the same colors that I put into the, to the sky. It's going to be cool blue. And then this one's the cerulean. Oh, I got that one. This one is the light blue. I'll show you what it looks like here in just a minute. And then I'm gonna do, I got paint on me, the white. I get covered in paint, you guys, when I do these. And I'm sitting at a little table. This is an 8x10 canvas, by the way. So see, so we're going to just pick up some of the colors and kind of mix them a little bit. Yeah, that looks really pretty. And I'm just picking them up on the back of the palette knife. Just really pretty. It's really peaceful, you guys. I love to do this. I I have um one of those little electric um, heaters going, and it's 
because it's, I keep the house about 68 degrees because the oil is so expensive. So we use those little heaters and they make all the difference and they're not that expensive. So you can see guys, it's just really easy to put these on and the colors are getting a little bit of green. They all kind of mix in together. And that's okay. I'm going to put some more blue though. The lighter blue doesn't show up like I thought it was going to. So I'm going to use some more of the cerulean. These are just three petaled flowers. Can do two. And I need to have flowers kind of grouped together, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back and put some more stems in. They have some called Texas Texas Bluets that I used to love when we used to live out west. And they would just fill the fields with all these beautiful blue flowers, little tiny ones. And these are bigger, but I'm going to add some of those in. I'll just kind of put them any place I think they look good. Kind of like a little natural bouquet. So we're getting there. And then now I want to see if I can get these little white ones. I always tell people yours is going to look completely different than mine does because they always do and that's what's so much fun about them. That's how it's supposed to be. I think I'm going to make these with four petals. And I think I might get a paintbrush. So I'm going to pause it for a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm going to try it. Like I said, I never know myself till I do it, what it's going to look like. But I want to try using these two brushes. And the fan brush is one of my most favorite techniques. And I'll show you in a minute. I want some little tiny sprigs in there. So what I'm going to do is you take the, oops, wrong one. You take the fan brush and just pick it up like that yeah see that adds a lot that's what I wanted those little tiny sprigs see how it just adds a lot That one got a, I love that. See how it got a little tiny bit of the blue in it and the green? That's really pretty. I like that. I'll just kind of tap it in. Yep, that's what I wanted. Okay, now I do want to try, I'm going to try a paintbrush. See what it does. Oh, 
So you can see, guys, these are easy. Anybody can make a dot with a paintbrush. Don't have to be a fancy artist to do this. And then we're gonna put some white. White ones tend to be like little tiny sprigs. I'm kind of just pushing it into the green paint so it looks like little tiny flowers. That's what's kind of fun when it's wet and you can kind of get these little different textures. Actually, kind of this one had a bare spot, so we'll fix that. And then let's do a tiny bit of a blue. So this one has all the same color palette, which is kind of neat. Okay, now I'm going to get a different brush and I'm going to put a little bit of yellow. And so I'm just going to pick up the yellow, just make little dots in the center. you gotta pick it up twice and same with these except these I'm gonna do I think I got all of them just about I don't really care for that one so I think that's the only one I'm gonna put in there I'll go back and put a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of the, the white blue. Flowers have all different kinds of colors in them. And then I'll just hold it up so you can take a look at it. They're coming along. It's still not quite there. I think I'm going to go back with some blue. So we're going to use this darker blue. I think I should see the mess I have everywhere. So now that I kind of stepped away, I'm going to put some more white flowers in there. I need, need some more. Okay. 
I think that looks really pretty. Put a few little petals. So then I'm gonna, I still have a little bit of white on here. So we're just gonna go back and add a little more color. And then I think what I'm going to do, because I think we're done with it, I don't want to add too much more. I just want it to be, well, maybe I'll add a little more of the, with the fan brush. So we're going to go to our colors and pick up just a tiny bit more. If you turn it the other way, then you can add um, like little mounds of tiny white flowers. Yeah, that's what I wanted right there. Just a tad of blue. And you could put it over on top of it. So it doesn't look like it's a straight line. Kind of see how the texture makes it kind of look like it's grass? The fan brush is one of my favorites. I love it. And if you flick it, it brings some leaves, little stems in there. make there's some more pretty leaves in there. The last part I like to do is I like to flick a little bit of watered down white paint and let's see if this will do it. Yeah, there we go. See, just flick it. I just really like to do that. And then, there's a little tiny bit of the blue. And then I'm just gonna mix that one too. It's watery. like that part, but I always like to put that in there. And then we'll do a little bit of the green. I used way too much for the 
comes out thick. There we go. So now I'll show you what it looks like. So we got it done. See you guys all the texture on it? I just really like it. So I really appreciate you guys spending this time with me. It's been a lot of fun. I always enjoy talking and sharing with you. I'm going to let this dry and I have a white ink pen that I sign my name on the bottom and then I'll put the the listing in the description box just in case anybody wants the painting and you can check out my shop it's at dragonfly corners at etsy.com but as always i just want to thank you and i love each and every one of you i pray that you have a great day i hope this will be relaxing and fun for you too and you take care god bless